It's DDK and I'm back. And if you hating, you whack. Guess what, baby? Today we made $225 plus and we only did two orders. It's time for us to go get an order. And guess what? We did do a solar panel order and it was not from Sun Run. We're about to go out here and get these funds and run. Now, we are picking up 13 panels. We're going to drive 65 miles for 18047. Don't forget to thank the Lord for your blessings. We're about to get this money when he's stressing. Let's go. How you doing this morning? Good, how about you? I'm living a dream. I woke up this morning. Yeah. I got the plan. That's true. Want some coffee or something? No, I'm fine. I'm juicing right now. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My guy about to get his right. Your name is Rick, right? Yes. Rick. Okay, I remember you, Rick. I came here one time before. <coughs> My guy, Rick, whipping his joint. Uh, let me see. You are good to go. Right there is perfect. <coughs> Appreciate you, Rick. I think they forgot the call this morning because I, I just texted them a little while ago and said, hey, Blue Raven's order is still sitting here. Really? So I don't know if they forgot the, the call dispatch or, yeah. or what. We're good to go? Yep. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Rick. You have a great one. You too. Just like that, we gone. How you doing, boss? Y'all hey, oh, see that joint? That's San Paul, I think, or Caprice. How you doing? Where you want to uh, drop everything at? Here? Yes. Okay. How you doing this morning? Uh, are you waiting for you? Oh, you waiting for me? Oh, yeah, they gave it. I just got it. I just got it from, um, I picked it up like at 8.30. It came in on the yeah. app. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so when I was at the uh, warehouse, Rick said that somebody forgot to, they forgot to schedule it or something like that. Shit. Yeah. I think they forgot the call this morning because I, I just texted them a little while ago and said, hey, Blue Raven's order is still sitting here. Really? So I don't know if they forgot the, the call dispatch or, yeah. or what. How long do we got to do this one? Uh, what, like three, four hours, probably? You just talked to by yourself? Uh, we have one more. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I ain't playing. <laughs> Been a minute, I'm coming to retirement, baby. So? It's been a minute since I'm this for panels. I'm coming to retirement. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Yes, sir. Stop this right here. I'll take a photo and I'm good to go. Do you guys want the pallet here or you want me to take it with me? What's up? You want the pallet here or you want me to take it with me? Uh, can you take it? Yeah, I can take it. That's fine. Thank you. Yes, sir. Y'all already know what time it is. Comment below and let me know. Step back and look the photo. Y'all know those smack. We got one. We doing three of them joints. Three of them. And with the photo again. Smack. We got that. And then we're going to do the materials. Smack. We got that. All right. Appreciate you guys. Have a good one. Stay safe. You as well. Let's go. Order number two. Pull up to Home Depot is what we about to do. Now, we are picking up 25 items. That weighs eight pounds. We're gonna drive six miles for forty six seventy four. Now I know you about to pull up at uh, skull. Let's go. And just like that, we are here at Home Depot, so we can get this dough and skull. Hope I'm hopefully I'm on the right side. Customer service. I think I am, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Hello. How you doing? I have a roadie order to pick up. Okay, your order number. Um, W G fifty two zero five twenty two forty five. Thank you. Right, I'll you can go around the building and she'll bring it right out there. Oh, in the back. Okay, thank you. A few moments later. And just like that, we are at the back of the stove ski so we can get this dough, G. I don't know if we're supposed to go here or not. It says staples do not block. It's like these sliding doors right here. I don't see nobody, though. I don't see nobody. 
Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <coughs> I don't see nobody back in this joint. Let's see if they got these joints ready. Oh, here they go right here. Y'all see them? Right there. Gotta make sure I let somebody know. How you doing, boss? What's up? Did he just call you on the phone? I have a, a order to pick up, a roadie order to pick up. Was it a grill? No, it's for Owens. It's those totes right here. It's 25 totes. They said that they called you guys from the front. It's oh, you're looking for somebody from Home Depot? Yeah, Home Depot. Oh, I don't, oh, I don't work from Home Depot. Oh, you don't? No, I'm just an assembly tech. So, oh, you just assemble stuff? Yeah. Yeah, you get your all little stuff going. That's yeah, what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. They, should, they should be able to help you. Hello. How you guys doing? I have a, order, a roadie order to pick up. Yeah. Is this one right here, right? Yes. Okay. Nice and sweet. Nice and sweet. Nice and sweet. Right there. What I'm talking about. Right here. I'm going to stretch these doors to get the wall, but I'm taking your stuff back and then we're going to get it on. My nickname is Rome. Y'all already know I'm rocking on microphone. Let's get it. As you guys can see, we put that bungee on this joint. Now it's time for us to go out here and get on point. Let's go. We are here at the drop off. It's time to knock their socks off. They ain't even no doorbell on this, John. We gotta knock on this. <laughs> oh, no. What am I supposed to do, baby? All right, now they keep on playing. It's gonna be right here. This one right here. That brick right there it is what it is. A few moments later. Oh, okay. I was knocking on the door, but no one answered. Yeah, it's their way up front. Oh, okay. Any specific place you wanted me to sit it? Or I can't see it. Oh, okay. I have another set too. Okay. It's real awkward to carry them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let me uh take a photo pretty fast. Step back in with the photo, you're not all smack. We got that. And then I don't think you need to sign. I'm good to go. Thank right. you very much, sir. Story time! It's been a while since y'all got a story time. So, I'm going to tell you guys what happened. That first place we picked up from those solar panels, right? It was a long time ago. It was hot outside. So, it had to be like maybe six months ago or something like that. Um, I actually had did an order for them. Like a little while later, probably like a day or two later, the owner of the company reached out to me. Brr, brr. Jerome speaking. Hey, how you doing, Jerome? My name is so-and-so. Um, I had this order that... Somebody was supposed to pick up, but they did not pick it up. I was wondering, could you pick it up? So he called me directly now. Mind you, I found out a lot of information just from this phone call and going up there and everything. But back to the story. So I was actually pretty far away from the pickup location. I was like an hour away. I was actually trying to get us to, we were trying to do our first GOMO order. We went to this tire place, but they, no orders ever came out. I had to find out later that you have to actually reach out to them and they're gonna uh, send you all the information and everything. But that would happen, right? So he called, I'm like, I'm an hour away. He needed the order done way faster than that because they was already waiting for this order to be dropped off at the uh, drop off location already for a long time. So I'm like, it's gonna take an hour. He's like, never mind. Unfortunately, it's gonna be too long. So I went upon myself to go there anyway, just in case. I'm, I start shooting there, driving there, just in case. Just in case the person does not come, I could be right there. I can, uh, uh, get busy right quick, right? So the driver ended up taking the order and everything. Everything went fine. Now I went there also to introduce myself to the owner of the company. I talked to him. I'm like, yeah, we had a Sprinter van. We have all the equipment. He already knows everything. I'm like. You know, we could definitely work out something. We could do something um, direct through each other, right? So I told him all this stuff, and I found out how much they be making on them orders, too. I found that out, too, on this bed. I found out that information, too, baby. I, I told y'all I'd be moving the group, but y'all be knowing. I do. I did find out about um, how much they be making from them orders, and for the most part, for this particular order, it was like, I think the payout was like 
$89 or $90 and he paid like $200 or something like that. So, hey, that's why I'll just tell y'all what happened, baby. Or maybe it was 100, 100. It was like, it was like a, a high split. It was like a 60, 40 or 55, 45, something like that. But definitely just know that uh, they be out there getting that dough so they can scope. Now, I talked to him everything. He like, okay, boom, well, boom. And guess what happened? I told you guys this, this, this is what happened. I never heard from him ever again. He never called me back again. He never reached out to me. He never told me anything. Nothing. And that was just, this was the second time I ever went to that place. This this the first. It was the third time. I went there the first time to do the order. Then the second time to go there and try to get the other order. And then this time right here. But the people are very nice. The owner is very nice. The guy, the uh, my guy Rick, he's very nice too as well. But. It is what it is. That's what be happening sometimes. I told you guys that people do not like change. So if something needs to be changed, they probably had a meeting about us and a meeting about everything. And he probably decided that he's not going to go with us. He went with dispatch instead. And this is the reason why you guys got to understand this. As a business owner, let me tell you this. As a business owner, if you have, um, if you have access to multiple drivers, if you have access to 30 drivers, why would you only pick one driver to do everything? Why would you do that? What happens if the one driver don't come? Then what you going to do? See, that's the reason why I'm telling you guys, you gotta think like like business people and not like uh, a person on the other end. You gotta look at it both ways. So it's no slack to him or anything. I understand why he would decide to go ahead and stay with dispatch because he got access to more drivers. And he already had issues with that driver that was picking up the stuff because he said that they was late multiple times already. And I found another thing. That was the first time he, he just started using dispatch. He had just started using dispatch. So I guess he had to work out the kinks and everything. But. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below and let me know if you like the story. I'm out here trying to be in my glory, baby. Hey, and if you hate, don't ignore me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like it tomorrow. It's going back down. We ain't playing around because all 2024, all we doing is putting up to skull. Let's go. I will see you guys on the next one. We going, we going, we flowing. You already know it. It's DDK, and I'm on my way.